Hello everyone. I am Ranjit from Informatica Global Customer Support. In this video we will see how to configure the Snowflake catalog source in CDGC. The agenda of today's session is what is Snowflake scanner? What are all the supported object types of Snowflake scanner in CDGC? What are all the prerequisites to configure the Snowflake catalog source in CDGC? And then we will see on the steps to configure the Snowflake catalog source along with a quick demo. What is Snowflake Scanner? Snowflake is an analytic data warehouse provided as software as a service. The Snowflake data warehouse uses an SQL database engine with a unique architecture designed for cloud services. In CDGC, we use the Snowflake catalog source to extract metadata from the database located on your Snowflake system. Supported object types. The following objects will be extracted as part of the metadata extraction in CDGC. The objects are database, schema, tables, tags, views, materialized views, store procedures, pipe, stage, columns and functions. And then the following objects will be profiled as part of the data profiling in CDGC, tables and views. Prerequisites to configure the Snowflake catalog source. To extract metadata, user must be assigned with the following permissions. And then to run the data profiling, user don't need additional permissions to run the data profiling in CDGC. User can run the data profiles with the permission used to extract metadata. Now we will see on the steps to configure the Snowflake catalog source along with a quick demo. In order to create a new Snowflake catalog source in Metadata Command Center, we need to create a connection in Administrator Service first. To do that, Navigate to administrator service and then click on connections and give new connection and in this page provide the necessary details to create a connection. So here I have provided connection name, type, valid runtime environment, authentication type and corresponding user credentials. Once the details are provided, click on test connection to check if the connection is valid or not. Once it is validated, save the connection. Now the connection is saved connect successfully in administrator service. Now move to metadata command center. In metadata command center, click on new and search for snowflake under catalog source. And here enter a name. And under the connection, enter the connection name which we have provided in administrator service. Once the values were entered, click on next to add the configuration details. And under metadata extraction, for runtime environment, give a valid runtime environment. And in filters, we can provide the object name in any of the sub supported wildcard fo formats. Here we can see the supported wildcards and examples. So here I am including the metadata for database.schema format. And then click on data profiling and enable data profiling and data quality. And here also we need to provide a valid runtime environment. After enabling this, now navigate to data classification and enable data classification. Here I am choosing data classification rules and I am adding the data classification rules that I have created in Metadata Command Center. Now 
Now we can navigate to relationship discovery and we can enable relationship discovery. Here containment score threshold is saved as 0 0.5 and then we can enable glossary association and we can enable the same. So since the enable auto acceptance is given and we have choose a confidence score, if the business term is above this confidence score, then the business terms will be auto accepted. Once it is validated, we can save this job and run. So here I have already ran a job in Metadata Command Center for the similar configuration. So once the job is successful, we can see the assets in Data Governance and Catalog. Here we can see like DB is GCS and schema is GCS repro and tables and views were created under this and when you click on table we can see that glossary is associated for the corresponding columns and then we have given data classification rules for email so since this is these are email columns so these are this got curated with the email data classification and also since this since this is a table if the any views are, views are created on top of it we can see those under the lineage tab so here repro underscore view is the view name so we can see like this view is created on top of this particular table here we can see that repro view is created on top of this repro test table. We would love to hear feedback from you. Thanks for watching.